Welcome to the first video of the TIM tutorial video series. This series of tutorials will guide you in using the TIM app for your research. In this video, we will introduce the four elements of TIM, describe how they are organized, and use the four elements to create a study inside TIM. TIM is an acronym which stands for the Incredible Intervention Machine. You can use TIM to collect information on your study's participants through their smartphone. Inside TIM, your study is set up in four main elements. Studies, Interventions, Modules, and Items. Items, the little triangles, are the smallest element. They are the content of your module. The specific questions and prompts that your participants will respond to. This is your item dashboard view, and this is what the participant will see when they look at an item. Items are grouped up into larger modules. You actually create items inside a module. And this is your module dashboard view. Interventions, even bigger, are collections of modules. You use them to organize different condition groups for your study, such as your control condition. And this is your intervention dashboard view. Studies are the largest element of the four. They are made up of interventions, which are in turn made up of modules. And if we go even further, modules are made up of items. This is your study dashboard view. Here's a visual representation of the four elements. Your content items are created in a module. These modules then are added to an intervention and the interventions will make up a study. Okay, that's all very abstract. Now let's get into it and build the study. Start by going to the main TIM dashboard. Here's the link. Use your account name and password to log into the dashboard. You should find your account name and password in the initial account creation email sent out by the BMS Lab. Click Start New Study. These are the options for the different types of studies. We'll go over Career Compass and Sociometry surveys in different videos. For now, we're going to create a TIM survey. So click TIM Survey and click Create New Study. These options can always be changed later, but we'll go over them real quick. You can input a title and description for your study here. The additional languages option will enable you to write content items, modules, and other study information in either Dutch or German. Just click the language you want to add, and then click the Add button. Now, you will see the Dutch tab on the right side of your pages, in addition to English. You will also need to specify a title and description for any of the languages that you add. These are the start and end dates of your study. The start date is the time that the interventions and modules will become available to the participants. The end date is when the study will end and participants will not be able to access the modules. Check the box at the bottom if you want to use biometric data collection in your study from either Google Fit or Apple Health Kit. And finally, click on Create Study. And this will take you to the main page of your study. Now that we've created the study, we can now create the interventions. We can create the modules, attach the modules to the intervention, and then we'll create an item inside the modules. First, we will create a new intervention. Go to the intervention page, input a title, we'll call ours the control group, and click save. Then go to the modules page. Go to the create new module panel. Input a name and title for the module, and scroll down and click save. Note that a module's unique name will only be seen by the researcher, but a module title will be shown to the participant. 
All right, now that we have created your module, we can create the content items of the module. Make sure you have your module open. On the right side of the panel, click on the content items bar and drag an item type from the item type list to the item list. We will use the number input type. This will open a page to edit the characteristics of your item. Fill in the question and set the answer characteristics. We have now created the module and filled it with items. The next step is to attach the module to an intervention. We'll attach it to the control group intervention. Open the intervention page, scroll down to control group, and click open. Then click on the module panel tab. Select the day one questions and click the add button. You may add any additional modules to the intervention if you wish. And you have now successfully created a study, an intervention, a module, and items. In this tutorial video, we have introduced the four elements of TIM. We described how the four elements are organized, and we use the four elements to create a study inside TIM. Thanks for watching! Find more tutorials and information at the links below, and see you in the next video!